Hello YouTube, Steelfy here. Today I'll be showing you the quickest and easiest way to twix your clips in After Effects. This tutorial will not include masking your guide layers, just putting moving frames together and remapping. In the description there is a free project file that includes the clips, with and without Twixter, so you can learn as it goes with this. Comparing this method to other people, I can almost cut Brandon's cutting method by half time-wise, and use about 5 buttons when using the normal keyframe method versus the one I use. So, at the end of this clip, at the end of this video, I will show you how fast I can be with the clip, and I'm not even going to use graph presets with my full plugin like I usually do. So, let's get started. So, before we jump into this, I would really recommend that you make one of your mouse buttons with your mouse a right arrow bind. This the, using this button will greatly benefit your speed using my method, Brendan's, Kenny's, and anyone's as you do not have to reach across the keyboard with the mouse. But don't worry, if you don't know how to do this with your software, or you just don't care to, that is okay. You can still be faster with this method, even without that bind. So, let's jump into this. So, your first thing you're going to do is do Control to c to pre-compose your clip. This is going to leave all attributes in Comp1. Usually it's selected this, make sure it's the first option. Once you're in, you're going to do Ctrl-T to tire map. You'll need this for later. Go inside your pre-comp, click on the clip again that's inside, and do Ctrl-Alt-T to tire map once more. Now, um, something I did to your clips is I rendered them out for you, so that the clip for the, so the whole project will be smaller, but in reality you'll just be cutting out of an episode. So I have both examples up and I'll be showing you how to do the actual episode and the example you have right now. But first we're using your example. So the only difference is that you'll have to select the keyframe after you do Control T for time map. So you click that and you're good. Now we're going to press Control H to turn off keyframe interpolation. What this will do is it will um, make it so that the keyframes don't stretch across every time you shorten the um, size of the timeline and it just makes it a lot more a lot easier to use so after that this is where we actually get to moving so the two things you need to know is the right arrow and the control button so the whole time you're holding on control now with either your mouse button or the right arrow you're going to click the arrow of the button and your one key fr in it, and you're now on the next keyframe what you're going to do now is you're going to hover your mouse over the thing right here, over this um, timeline, and you're going to click and hold. While holding down control so you move slower, you're going to drag it until you see movement. Now, the reason why I chose this clip for you is because you have to watch out for two things moving at the same time, which is the little, the little water ripple effect and the wings, because they move at different frames. So basically you have to move every two frames but it's just something you have to watch out for and this is how you go through you go to the next keyframe using the right arrow and you drag until you see movement next movement next arrow drag to move and like um, this is me using my mouse right now I'm just I can go through and just click and keep on dragging but if you want me, if I was going to use the right arrow, I could pretty much do the same thing. Just click the right arrow, drag, right arrow, drag, right arrow, drag. Now it may seem slow to you at first, but don't worry. This will get a lot easier and a lot faster as you do, as you learn more of this. So you're just going to go through, watch for both things moving at the same time, and this will go on for a little while because it's a pretty long clip. Just follow along with me, and it's eventually going to be able to stop, and you can't go on because I made the clip only that specific amount of length. But in reality, you'll hit over. I'll, I'll show you what happens next. So after you do all these keyframes, they're all right beside each other, all right beside each other, all ready to go. So after that, make sure you're selected on your clip, and put down Twixter. Now, 
you just put down Twixter and you put 23.97 FPS, which is the frame rate of most anime. After that, you go back out, you see you already have time map on your clip, on your pre-comp, you click that keyframe, click the outside one, click X, and drag that to the edge, and you're good. Let's um, see how our result turned out. So because we didn't shorten the keyframes or anything or did no time wrapping, all we did was add all we did was add frames in between the clip. So now let's actually do some time mapping. The two most common ways to remap is to one, make a in type graph, or just make a fast slow graph. And I'll explain how you do all that. So you drag your keyframes closer together, then you go outside with your mouse, you're going to click, select both of them and click F9. After that, go into the graph editor right here, and you're inside. So, you, want, you can click plus and minus to zoom in and out to get a better look at your graph, but let's first start with the fast slow graph. So, to do a fast slow graph, you're going to go fast and slow. This graph measures from 0 to 1, so this is the beginning of the clip, and this is the end. You're going to drag this slightly down, so you still have it in the end of your clip, and you're gonna drag this up so it goes faster. Now let's see how this looks. Look at that. Alright, so let's say you want the clip to go fast, slow, and then fast at the end to flow to the next clip. Well, all you have to do is this. You're gonna drag this second arrow thing down to make it basically the same thing as the first one. You don't want it super on the end or else you, the movement will be super quick. With it with moving it forward like this a little bit, you'll have your you'll have your clip ready to go like that. All I have to do is go out and let's see what we did with that. Awesome. Alright, now for the next next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the actual episode clip and I'll uh, show you the difference between this one and that this one and the one we just did and I'm just gonna go through as I do normally so time map go in time map button and see what happened was when I remapped and I clicked the keyframe is it's already shown right there so I only have to do Control at H, and I'm already ready to go. I don't have to click the keyframe again. So after that, I just go through and I do my method. See, I hit the end right there. So we're just going to uh, back out, back up some keyframes. Then put our Twixter, go out, put our keyframe stuff down, and we should be fine. Meet that, put that on, and put my regular graph, and we should be good. This will take a little while longer because it's uh, an actual whole episode instead of just a clip. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now let's go to our next clip. This clip is a little bit more troublesome, that's why I also made our second example. And it's, it's just having to remedy a problem that comes up with using Twixter. So we do our pre-compose, control T time map. Go in, better make sure our keyframe stuff is good, click, control at H, right. Alright, 
Mr. Twixer are down. Come back out. Keyframe. And we should be fine. Now, when we look at this clip, we're going to see something weird happening. We're going to see these little hands and stuff in the background. They're going to be warping in the beginning and the end. Towards the middle, they're a bit better. Not the greatest, but it's a, it's more bearable than this and that. So, when you have to deal with something like this, you have two options. One, you can watch and see where the warp ends and starts. Where the major warps anyway ends and starts. And you can cut it out. Like so. Now that's fine and all, but you don't really you don't really get a lot of movement. So another method you can use besides this is to just make an in graph, basically. So like we did before, we're going to points hold select all F9 to remap. Go into our graph editor, and we're going to make our graph fast, slow, fast. So up, down, up. And you're going to do some my adjustments. So we see a bit of work from the beginning still, so we're going to raise this bar higher and keep it straight up because if we drag the side more, we're still going to see that work. So we're going to fix it by dragging this taller. And we can drag this up to help the beginning. And eventually you're just going to have to pick a good middle ground in between because you want, a good, you want an in-between between movement and cleanliness because you're not going to get the best of both worlds. Alright, so um, I'm just going to do the same thing from the next slips I did last time. Just make sure, just remember that when you're actually editing an episode, the only difference between what we've been doing now and then is you do Control t click the keyframe, Control h You don't have to select it over here like you did earlier. And so, let's get started. So, as we go on, I have two examples in the end of this clip with that I've already done for you in your, in your project file. Uh, one of the grass may best stuff over here, I'm not completely sure, but anyways. So, if you want to have a preset of the Twixer I use normally, all I like to do is just go inside of one of these pre-comps, select this keyframe right here, select, I mean select the clip right here, select this preset called Twixer Animation, and save animation preset. Name it Twixter 23 FPS, and every time you type Twixter in here, it will appear under user presets. And so, that's all I got for you today. Like and subscribe. Please uh, tell me what you want to learn next in my tutorials. I really need ideas. So, thank you, and goodbye.